When you are looking for a car that suits your business needs and family needs as well, you could probably be eyeing at an MPV or what other people call a multi-purpose vehicle. This minivan from Nissan offers roomy cargo space and comfort, all of this at its epitome. This car competes against Toyota Wish, uh, the Subaru Exiga, and the Honda Freed in the Kenyan market. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the exclusive review of the 2015 Nissan La Festa. Before we set the ball rolling, let me take you down the memory lane of this Nissan La Festa. Now, in the year 2004, there is this Japanese engineer seated down taking his coffee without Buddha. Now, this guy, an idea slaps his mind. He cannot even have peace while taking his coffee. And the idea that is slapping his mind is actually the design of the Nissan La Festa Highway Star. That is the first generation that was in production from 2004. Now, this guy designed uh, the Nissan La Festa that was produced in the first generation. Then even the facelift, it is still the same person who designed. The name of the Japanese engineer, it's Tetsuo Osawa. Yani, okay. You, you know, yeah, it's as okay as the car he designed. Now, this car has been produced in two generations. The first generation was known as the B30. It was produced from 2004 all the way to 2011. Then there came the second generation from 2011 to date, that is, and that is uh, the Nissan La Festa Highway Star B35 that we have here today. Now, many people tend to confuse the Nissan La Festa with the Mazda Primus because if you look at them side by side, they resemble each other, they have the same dynamics. If you exclude the logos at the front, then also from the front, you may get confused a little bit. So the reason for that is because after the uh, this guy Tetsuo Osawa sold the design, uh, the Nissan used to supply Mazda under an OEM agreement, according to sources, and that is the reason why they shared the same design. Uh, still, some uh, sources say that that agreement, uh, they terminated it, though they still resemble each other up to, to date. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the trim levels of the Nissan La Festa. So the first trim level we are talking about is the Nissan La Festa Highway Star J. Now that is the basic grade of the Nissan La Festa. It comes with 16 inch steel rims. The second trim level is the Nissan La Festa Highway Star, doesn't have any letter as a prefix, and that is the mid-grade of the Nissan La Festa. So that comes with the 17-inch alloy wheels and uh, xenon lights. Then there is the third trim level known as the Nissan La Festa Highway Star, the G package, that comes with amazing features. With that one, you are able to get fog lights, you are able to get uh, uh, xenon headlights as well, and then you have uh, electric rolling side doors from the khakis that is and i believe that is what we have today let me show you those buttons from the key there you go we shall do that practically when we get to the side profile so let's set the ball rolling when the upper belly we see how the anterior profile of this car looks like At the anterior profile, the outstanding thing is the Nissan emblem or the logo, which will help you know that the car approaching you is from the Nissan company. Let's talk about the lighting. When we were talking about the trim levels, we told you that uh, the one we have is the G package, and we did say that it comes with halogen lights and fog lights. I believe you are able to see that these are halogen lights, and of course we have the fog light Apochini. The grill is uh, well calibrated with that silver design matches the grey color of uh, the Nissan La Festa. So let us look at what powers this car under the hood. Under the hood of the 2015 Nissan La Festa Highway Star, the G package, you will be privileged to get a 2-liter MR20DE engine, which is a very common engine for nearly all the Nissan vehicles. Now, uh, the displacement of this car is 2,000cc, 
and they say mated to a good engine is a good transmission so most of you are awaiting this moment we are used to hearing that uh, nissan vehicles usually they come with uh, cvt gearboxes but uh, this one is a little bit contrary to that so this car comes with uh, an ecat transmission you are probably asking yourself what does that mean so that is electric controlled automatic transmission so that is what you get when you buy the nissan la festa very nice let us head to the side profile and see what we have there as well oh i've forgotten to tell you something now uh, somebody must be asking themselves about the fuel consumption of this car so this car will give you up to 16 kilometers to the liter and that is very economical pocket friendly now also other people uh, the car enthusiasts while you want thrilling speed are asking about the performance so this car will give you zero to a hundred kilometers per hour in 12.5 seconds and that is not bad for a multi-purpose vehicle as big as this let's see what the side profile has and to start us off is the rolling side doors so you will be able to open this from your car keys many thanks to what is the name of that guy again let's say together Tetsuo Osawa so this is how you do it this is the left door so you just press from your car keys and watch what happens there you go and that is what we call supercalifragilistic expialidocious so that is how amazing the side profile is Oh, let us talk about the ground clearance of this car. So this car comes with a ground clearance of 5.3 inches below what is recommended for the Kenyan standards. Because as I usually say, we have some hills in the name of bumps on some of our Kenyan roads. So anyway, I do have to employ good driving skills. You will see you miss the chassis of the car. Also, let's talk about these tires. So these ones come with a 17 inch alloy wheels of course we said this is the luxury grade of the Nissan La Festa so you will be in a position to get 17 inch alloy wheels when you buy the Nissan La Festa another thing that I want to show you is the indicator lights uh, with this car they come mounted on the front fenders as opposed to the side mirror so Niliwambia if you miss to find the indicator lights on the side mirror you will always find them on the front fenders and that can tell you this car near Kitambo Kudogo. We have uh, this is a 2015 model, so once year 2016, you may find the indicator lights on the side mirror. Also, to Konahi, this button on the doorknob and this one will help you to lock your car. You are for you. So, here you lock because we have opened this, and even the driver's door is open. So, let us move to the rear profile and we see how the rear profile of this highway star looks like. On to the rear profile, nothing much to talk about. We have uh, the branding of the name of this car. So you have the Nissan emblem and then you have the La Festa. On the farthest end, you can see uh, the highway star, what we've been talking about. So if you are driving Nyumayau Jama, you will be in a position to note that. Apambeleangu kuna mtu akona Nissan La Festa highway star. And then this is a very critical emblem that we have to talk about. This one is labeled Pure Drive and that tells you how economical this car is. So that means the fuel consumption is pocket friendly. And I told you this car will give you up to 16 kilometers. To the liter the brake lights very beautiful synchronized with uh this white light so you can get the reverse gear this ones will uh zitawaka to illuminate for you when you are going uh i there's a reverse camera so that is the work of that then there is this a small extension of a spoiler which also boosts the aesthetics of the rear profile so ladies and gentlemen up to that point we are going on a short commercial break don't go away because the best is yet to come. This is the car diary. My name is Alfonso Albaquekwe. I'm Okipenda, the conversation professor. Don't touch that dial. You're still coming back.
save time and money and shop without turmoil? Maguna Supermarket, where product management is at its finest, is the place to be. With a cleanly stacked selection of top quality products and a convenient layout, shopping has been made easier. Spacious aisles and easy access to merchandise helps you wander around comfortably and get the job done in no time at all. With an excellent reputation of customer service, we provide our customers with excellence in all areas of service. Shop at any of our branches today and get to experience affordable prices on all your needs. Maguna Supermarket, Sherehekea Bay Yamona Do you need to buy a car, locally or from abroad? Do you need port clearance of your car or cargo? Carling Freight and Logistics has got you covered. We are dealers in direct imports, port clearance, vehicle selling and consultancy. Our head office is located in Mombasa, Tala Building along Kenyatta Avenue. We offer services countrywide and also do delivery with a team of experienced drivers. For more information, contact us on 0725-715-741. Carling Freight and Logistics Experience Convenience Unapohitaji nyumba yako ku stand out with modern, stylish and unique interior designs, Malafta Interior Design is here for you. Specialist in designing, maintenance, renovation and construction services. Tuko available countrywide na unaweza contact us through 0728-598-638. Welcome back to the car diary. You are still rolling with the conversation professor Alfonso Albaquerque himself. And right about now, I want us to get up close with the interior profile of the Nissan La Festa Highway Star. We start with the instrument binnacle, and here we have your RPM gauge and the uh, speedometer. So this car comes with a top speed of 180 km per hour and the optimum of the rpm gauge is at 8000 revolutions per minute of course at the center of the speedometer and the rpm gauge there is a small screen there which also displays critical information for example right now i have the driver's door open and the cold driver's door open as well and you can see what it is showing me here that the two doors are open also hapo kwa the rpm gauge kuna an alert that always comes there after yako ikiwa chini it will give you iyo uh, tire yellow to tell you that your fuel level is low you need to refuel now let us uh, shift focus kidogo to songe hapa kwa steering wheel we have a few controls of course there are navigation controls for your car as you drive it and uh, these ones you will majorly use them for the infotainment system now we also have a safety feature that is uh, uh, evident on the steering wheel we have the SRS airbags and that means that as the driver of this car you are always protected when you are on the road sawa sawa yeah so let us shift focus kidogo to kuje hapa kando there are some few buttons that I have to show you what they do now there is this one on my left and there is this one on my side you can see the uh, logo or rather a calibration of the rolling doors right here so there is close open close open so this one will open the left door and this other one will open the right door i'm talking about the rolling doors ah, yeah. we have the power on and power off so these powers of the rolling doors that means uh, if you press power off the electric ro uh, rolling door feature will be disabled and if you press it to let it on that means you can be able to control it so it is advisable that you keep it off ukiwa na sana sana watu hii on board because uh, again watoto wanaweza papa yuka tu and they press their things we also have a traction control button right here which uh, is a very another amazing thing about safety of this car traction control is always a very critical feature and always make sure that when you are driving on the highways you put your traction control button on 
let us now shift focus to the center console and see what we have here you have your seven inch uh smart screen right here with you and this is where you get all your infotainment needs of course there are some controls here performing the same functions as those ones on the steering wheel now the reason you have them on the steering wheel is to make your work easier so that you can remain focused on the road as you control your infotainment system ukishuka hapa chini there is the climate control system we have this one is used to turn on the fan and when you push it to this side you reduce the speed when you push it to this other side you enhance the speed of the fan now you have uh, this uh, button right here which you use to change the mode of air circulation in the car now this means that the air circulation goes to the face napia ukuchini kwa migu so the air circulation is full uh, when you use this mode now there is the front mirror defrost and then this other one is just to enhance the temperature of the car of course the minus and the plus you know what that means upper chin we have recirculation of air so if you put this one on that means recirculation of air is going to be continuous in your car and all these buttons for them to function you have to turn on your ac button the button that we have right here so when we move to the gear shifter again this is very simple and uh, you have the parking reverse neutral drive and you can also drive it in manual mode so we shift to kuja up at this side you can be in a position to uh, change the gears manually ladies and gentlemen let us now talk about uh, the cabin storage uh, and see i think uh, the storage compartments in this car are very limited to the side pocket doors and uh, let's see i'm seeing something here but this is not a storage compartment all right this is a storage compartment i hope you are able to see that so you can store your coffee mugs right here and this one is retractable so you can hide it upper and then you can still lift it here as well all right now let us talk about legroom and space the legroom in this car is very sufficient as you can see guys so this seat is uh i have retracted it to my size because i'm a short person but you can retract it fully to the back when you are a tall driver there is a uh, that thing right here which you use so let us retract it and see so i have fully retracted it for a long driver the journey will still be comfortable utafika kama haujachoka and uh, the same happens on this other side for the co-driver as well now before ni toke hapa mbele let us tuguzi about safety features of this car you have curtain side airbags and also you have some on the dashboard kuna srs airbag here you have one on the steering wheel and the side curtain airbag so safety in this car is at its optimum there is nothing to worry about when your focus is on the road let us shift focus to the middle seats and see how uh, the legroom and space looks there as well The middle row seats in this Nissan La Festa highway are not that comfortable because we have limited space especially for tall passengers on board. Sawa sawa. Yeah, so this one will only be comfortable for short people kama sisi because if it's a tall driver and the seat is fully retracted, you can see how limited the legroom right here is. Yeah, so let's talk about also comfort here of course ukiwa na kitu mbaya lazima tukiwe na kitu mzuri that we can allude to so if you have three passengers on board the middle passenger does not have an armrest these two wako nazo and it's retractable it's here this one so if it's a long drive kwa mguu ataumia lakini kujibamba itakuwa plenty of kujibamba now also if you have two passengers on board sasa watakuwa na armrest mbili moja huko ingine hapa katikati and for the, the order of the day will be kujibamba 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 hadi hapo tuko sawa guys all right now let us see the very rear end seats how the legroom there looks like and then we see also we talk about storage compartment we combine it with this i'll tell you something amazing let's jump to the rear row seats on the very rear end seats these ones i think are limited to kids because this legroom is not uh, sufficient enough for a grown up so mtu mkubwa kika hapa it should be a short drive kama ni long drive hiyo ni uongo because as you can see i have fully retracted uh ikiti kombele yangu and still that 
legroom is limited headroom is very okay but uh, these rear seats they are meant for kids uh, and I think that is why uh, these ones are meant to be retracted if you want to create boot space because you don't have enough boot space unless you retract these rear end seats so hizi kwa mtu mkubwa itakuwa ni uongo kidogo but that is it so let us talk about storage compartments hapa nyuma you have two cup holders kuna moja hapa na ingine on this other end that is uh, pretty nice so guys let us uh, look at something that we didn't talk about let me take you to the boot and we see something amazing there So guys, when we talk about the boot space, uh, this car will only be practical if you retract the very rare seats. And as I told you to Kiwapo, uh, you can see the space we have here, very limited. So you have to retract these seats for you to create ample boot space, and this is how you do it. Eh? So guys, if you retract the rear end seats, you can see how spacious this boot is. And uh, now hapa sasa unaweza afanya mambo yako mzuri mzuri. Uh, that increases the boot space and uh, inaweza beba wata tuone leo ni kuwe the SI unit of boot space. How many Alfonso Albaquerques can fit here? We see, uh, I think the two of Alfonso Albaquerques can be able to fit here. So if you are going up country ama unatoka up country unaenda adventure zako you can be in a position to carry a bigger luggage ile size yenye wewe mwenyewe ume prefer and uh, that is why this guy is called a multi purpose vehicle because it delivers you have seen how practical it is So ladies and gentlemen closing of the boot brings us to an end of the car diary i have been your host the conversation professor himself alfonso albaquekwe guys see you next sunday at 6 pm we did a review of the schedule and you will be catching the car diary every single sunday at 6 pm after you have umetoka wapi kanisani oh kanisani brilliant so guys see you on saturday adios thank you so much for the overwhelming support guys let's go home